Hey there, I'm Anthony. Um, a subscriber wrote me and asked me if I would explain a little bit more about the organ types that are available inside of the instrument. The instruments today, I'm on a Roland 18900 Platinum, but I could have very easily been sitting at the New Lowry Liberty and I would have had very similar results with what I'm trying to show you today. Um, underneath the main screen of this model, there is what I call the modeler. It says vintage organ and it allows me the opportunity to select how the drawbars, a Lowry would have tabs, but a, a Roland uses drawbars how they will react to how I touch them. So think of it like a shift key on a typewriter. You know, it could be a number one, or I don't really even know what the symbol was, it was over one, but it could be whatever was above it, okay? Right now, I have it set to flute. Now, on these new Platinum series, flute is not just one type, there are two types. It's, and if you can see the screen, I think you can, it says jazz right now. So we're gonna hear nothing, because I've got nothing turned on. But if I now pull out the upper, uh, drawbars are on the left because my right hand would be playing and you want to manipulate them. If I pull out the drawbars, okay, you have a sound. I'm going to turn off the rotary, which would be, years ago you would buy a separate speaker. Um, there was a company called Leslie that made these that would sit off to the side. It's now off. So now the only sound you're getting is really coming right out of the instrument. separate, which isn't separate, rotary speaker. I'm going to speed it up. Slow it down. Okay. Now if I press the button, jazz to make it say rock, I get a little bit of a grittier sound. Okay, it's a little bit of a different sound. I also, I'm turning the rotary off again, I have vibrato, which is very old school. Or chorus. Although there sounds like this motion, I mean, this is like a Hammond Day 100, old school style, right? 1960s type organ. Now, leaving that setting, as you can see, the draw bars are not even. I have eight, a 16 foot at 8, and I have a, um, a 4 foot at 4, and I have 2 foot at 6 right now. Right now, they mean something, those numbers. It's a volume control for that sound. But if I switch the model over to pipe organ, then it just says an on off switch. You see the screen change to so just tabs. So <clears throat> if I turn off the sound, I can either do that or I can push the draw bar and it'll turn it off. Same thing with theater. So that vintage organ section is basically when I push one of those three types, flute, pipe, or theater, I'm sorry for that click, that's the air conditioning, B flat. Uh, It'll, it kind of dictates how the draw bars will function when I pull them out. All right, now, I do also have, obviously, 
organ sounds built into the instrument. There are, there's an organ section, but I can put that sound in any of the four upper, three lower, or two pedal divisions, any sound I want. Now, if I just want to accept a preset, let's say I put lower two on here. Okay, I press it, the screen comes up, I could pick another sound, but that's what came up. Let's go to jazz one. And let's put on organ bass one. Okay? Now right now, no spinning. alternate buttons I can flip. Just an alternate, so it says lower three, but when I flip it, it goes to another sound. All right? Then, of course, every section has a, you know, a full organ type. go into the sound and modify it. So if I want to put sustain on it, let's put sustain on both the top and the bottom. It's going to be long on top, okay? We talked about this the other last week. these sounds. If I go into the section, again, I don't know if you can see the screen or not, of organ voices, um, I'll start it off for one, which there's, you know, nine full organ types, ballad good, then jazz, combo jazz, Light jazz, rock organ. Has a little bit of a grittier, dirtier sound. Lower 
organs, they have no 16-foot pitches. All 8-foot eight, eight pitched and higher, so they're a little bit more suited to playing the bottom keyboard. Manual bass. Okay, a bunch of pipe organs. There's 14 pages of organ sounds, okay? Then there's independent pipe voices. Remember, uh, Roland owns Rogers, so you have Rogers pipe organ voicing. Then you have independent theater organ voicing in here. And theater organ presets, uh, reed organs. They were like the parlor organs from the Victorian era. They would be in houses. You'd have to pump them with your feet. Synthesize organs, uh, metallic and pop organs like those little farfizas. Beach Boys and stuff used to use that kind of sound. The uh, attack, which is percussion. There is percussion as well that you can use uh, with the drawbars, actual four foot and two foot percussion. And then there's actually the key click, which, you know, would exist, really did happen. Wouldn't quite be that loud, but you can manipulate that and change the volume and stuff like that. So there's options as far as putting that in. now. If you really love the sound of all those categories, but you don't really know where to, you don't know how to set it up, you're not sure, well, on the quick registration section, if I go in, I'm going to go back to classical first. There's a whole bunch of organ type. It says Baroque organ. Pop. Romantic. French organ. Which is Notre Dame. If I go to movie and show, there's a section with organ, theater organ sound that I can that I can use. This one says at the tower, guess where we are? And then there's harmonic bar, which I go into. Of course, there are other places to get harmonic bar sounds, but and these are the jazz organs, okay? Manual bass. Manual bass, people don't always know how to play pedals, so a lot of musicians would sometimes play bass from their hand. The interesting thing is that on the low end, the lower pitches, like the 16 foot pitch, based on the technology of the error, could only go so far, and then they would repeat the octave again. We call that fold back. You'll hear it. It was like three octaves that repeated there, okay? But... Okay, 
okay, you can play manual bass. That's also set in the presets. Some fun stuff like the organ to go go. Or you could put scatting on the bottom. Okay, so there's a lot of options. If you want to play, you can use the presets in the instrument. If you hit basic, you have all the options here. A combo organ. A pipe organ. Theater organ. shakes when I play it so among other other presets but they're right there right under basic so I have a very easy way of getting sound you know the European there were European artists that had a particular sound and if I go under European and UK I'll get kind of that slow 60s sort of organ um, find another one where's another guy in here um, you can go under American, obviously. There's gospel organ. They're singing. Okay, so there's no shortage of sound. If you like these sounds, they're duplicated in other places. Um, in the past, on the Roland 1890SL, I have one of those here too, we had a lot of those same presets, so you had the ability to go in and you know, get a lot, of, a lot of the same sound that I just got here um, in the last generation models. And Lowry instruments also, they call them category presets. You can go in and pull up a lot of the pre-made sounds and really enjoy playing the type of music that you love with the kind of sounds that you like. Um, this new Platinum uh, uses a new DSP, a digital signal processing, than any of the previous generation, even the other 900 models. It isn't, they are not the same. I have a 900. It doesn't sound as good as this. This sounds really, really special when you play it. Um, it is same sound sampling. Obviously, there are new sounds in it, but the way the sound comes out, it's just a, an incredible experience. Really, really lovely. And those, uh, our customers have bought the new uh, Lowry Liberty, another really, really fabulous sound comes out of these little ports and, ah, just gorgeous. The instruments are all lovely. If we can combine them all in one, we'd all be happy, but we can't. This is trying its best to give you all those types in one place. So I hope that that helps explain a little bit to you about the different ways you can access the kind of organ sound you're looking for and where they're located. Remember, I can put organ sound anywhere I want in any place on the instrument, any of the three keyboards, because the pedal board's a keyboard, and I can add drawbars on smaller uh, Rollins that do not have the uh, dynamic uh, harmonic bars. I would just be able to use the preset combinations to get sounds, but it's not going to sound bad. It's they're just really incredible. Uh, in here is a, so anything from a, a Hammond A100 model, you know, to uh, the Blackpool Wurlitzer, Radio City Music Hall, Notre Dame Cathedral, um, Box Organ in Arnstadt, they're all inside of it. You have to just go in and push a few buttons and poof, out they come. All right? Um, summertime's a great time to be inside in the air conditioning and enjoy your instrument. So if you're home, take advantage of the AC and play a little bit. All right? Have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.